In this video, we will look at the structure of the sentence. First, let's take a look at the following examples. Ik kom uit Engeland. Ik woon nu in Nederland. Mijn ouders zijn op dit moment in Indonesië. Meaning, I am from England. Now I live in the Netherlands. My parents are in Indonesia at the moment. Please note that the conjugated part of the verb is in the second position. This is a general rule. The conjugated part of the verb stands in second position. In these first three sentences, the subject is in the first position. The structure is subject, verb, the rest. The conjugated part of the verb is called persoonsvorm in Dutch. Let us now take a look at the yes-no questions. Ja, nee vragen in Dutch. Woon je al lang in Utrecht? Is deze plaats vrij? Krijg je nog bezoek? Zijn je ouders op vakantie? Meaning, have you lived in Utrecht for a long time? Is this seat free? Will you get visitors? Are your parents on holiday? A yes-no question is a question that can be answered by either yes or no, which means that the conjugated part of the verbal group is always in the first position. The subject follows the verb immediately. This phenomenon is called inversion. The structure is always verb, subject, the rest. The conjugated part of the verb is called persoonsvorm in Dutch. You can answer any one of these questions with either yes or no, ja or nee. Now look at the following open questions, WH questions. In Dutch they are called vraagwoordvragen. Wie heeft mijn boek? Waar werken je ouders? Hoeveel talen spreek jij? Wat is zijn adres? Meaning, who has my book? Where do your parents work? How many languages do you speak? What is his address? As you can see, the structure is always interrogative pronouns, verb, subject, the rest. Again, the conjugated part of the verb, the persoonsvorm, is in the second position. Here is an overview of all the interrogative pronouns. Wie, hoe, hoeveel, wat, waar, welk, welke, wanneer, waarom. Meaning, who, how, how many, what, where, which, when, why. Hoeveel is a special one. In English, this is translated with how many. As you can see, hoeveel is written together. However, when the interrogative pronoun how, who, is followed by another adjective, you write it separately. Hoe groot is jouw huis? Meaning, how big is your house? Another important interrogative pronoun is which. In Dutch, welk, welke. As you can see, there are two forms. The use depends on the gender of the following noun. Welk for neuter singular nouns, in Dutch het woorden, het words, welke in all other cases, that is de woorden, de words. 
Welk boek hebben jullie? Het boek. Welke fiets is van jou? De fiets. Meaning, which book do you have? Which bicycle is yours? To round off, take a look at the following examples. Hij geeft twee dagen les en ik drie. We luisteren naar de tekst. Komt je broer ook op bezoek? Bent u mevrouw Witman? Waarom leer je Nederlands? Wanneer is het daar zomer? Meaning, he teaches two days a week and I teach three. We will listen to the text. Is your brother coming to visit you? Are you Mrs. Wittman? Why do you learn Dutch? When is it summer over there?